Hi, Cammy. <laughs> what do you think of your new home? She says, leave me alone, I just wanna sleep. So we brought two of our cats over to just sort of introduce them to the area and let them roam around and smell everything. We brought Cammy and Moonshine. Cammy, you just saw, she is super chill and relaxed. She's she's just a cat that doesn't really care. And Moonshine, he freaked out. Like on the right up, he thought he must have thought he was dying or something. But we brought two of our five cats over, and we're gonna try and like slowly introduce all of them over. But we're gonna have to do it fairly quickly. So that's what is going on so far. So, me and mom put paneling up in the laundry room here. We've got it covering three walls. We're gonna leave this wall here because we kind of ran out of paneling. And we also don't want to cover any of this up in case we need to get to it at some point. But we're gonna hopefully start moving in our lawn, um, our washer and dryer so we can wash clothes and like some hampers and things to do, you know, laundry with. So, Lucas and Kayla took turns tearing down the wall that was right here. And um, if you look <laughs> right here, you'll see, you'll see we have a snake skin. We don't know what snake this was from, but there's one here. Let's see. There was another one somewhere. I think it was up there maybe, but oh yeah. Right there. It's maybe the same one actually. But there were three in total. Three snake skins in total, so that's fun. Alright, so here at Bethel House, it's starting to look like a home. We're bringing furniture in. We have a really cool middle of the room AC unit. Couches, most of the walls are covered in here. A few little patches to finish sealing up the room, but dining room tables and, and kitchens are being stocked and... Oops. Wrong light. We've got walls covered and more walls covered. And down the hallway, we have well, nothing much covered back here. And I can't show you this room because it was dark, but hey, the floor's done. It looks really good. Everybody, it's been it's been a little while since I've done an an, uh, an update. I've been kind of in my A. I've been had something go on, and I had to take a little while and sort of rest a little bit. But <laughs> what I got done yesterday, you can you can hear them. I moved some of my chickens over. So all of these here are my chicks. There are ten of them. Everybody, and then I also moved two of my uh, smallest hens. That's Flurry and Frost over there. So I moved them with the chicks because they're about the same size as the bigger ones. And so I was hoping that they could sort of all get along and form a flock as the chicks grow, and then we can slowly introduce the rest of the rest of my chickens, you know, because the whole pecking order is a little brutal sometimes. But while I was resting up and sort of taking care of myself, uh, the boys and my uncle moved a lot of furniture and boxes over, so our um, house is pretty empty right now. I guess our old house is pretty empty right now, but we still have a lot more stuff to move. But we are slowly, slowly making progress in moving in. So that's pretty exciting. We can soon hopefully maybe sleep because well, we can't really sleep in our old house in much longer. Well, here's my room. Um, we got the beds in. I'll go ahead and show you guys while there is a while there's light. 
And we got the floor done. Look at how nice it is. It was sanded and polyurethane. Now this is probably temporary. We're probably going to sand it again and then re-seal it with the polyurethane. Just to make sure that it is as sealed as it possibly can be. But the boys will be sleeping there. And I'll be sleeping up here. And this is just temporary until we can get the boys' rooms. At least livable with walls and stuff. So it has been a little bit since I've recorded. We've been um, a little more focused on moving stuff inside the house. So we have moved a lot. We moved pretty much all of our furniture. We got almost all of our boxes and things out of our old house and moving in. Right now, we're going to be sort of organizing everything and sort of putting it, everything where it needs to go temporarily and putting stuff away that we can. And we've actually spent two nights in the house, so. They're, they're good nights, and also we moved some of our cats over, that's Cammy, and then that's Moonshine. And we have another cat that we moved over, her name is Potts. So we have two more cats to move, the rest of our chickens, our dog, uh, and mostly just have our washer and dryer, and that's pretty much all we have left to move over, and, it, and the deep freezer. So that's pretty much all that's happened, I thought I'd go ahead and catch you up while I'm sitting here. They are so cute. So we got the deep freezer in. Yeah. Hi, I'm recording, buddy. We got the deep freezer and we got all of our food in it that needed to be in the deep freezer. And we'll just go around. We also got our washer and dryer. So it's going to take a little bit to get it all hooked up into the laundry room over here. But for now, they are here, so that's the important thing. Okay. Hello, everybody. I haven't recorded in about five days because I've, like I said before, we have been a little more focused on cleaning and moving. So we have our old house is almost completely empty. We only have like one more room to clean and finish packing up and we have to finish the outside of that house and so we are really we're so close to being fully moved into this house but um, what we have done is like I've said we've cleaned the house pretty much the whole thing and we've been working more on outside stuff like taking down old chicken coops sort of like piling everything up and sort of moving everything to one area we still have our dog and the rest of our chickens to move but we have moved the rest of our cats over so we've, we've made some pretty good progress and I probably won't record or have anything ready for a little bit so in the meantime if you guys feel like it you could sort of like leave any questions that you have down in the comments section so feel free to ask any questions you want and I'll make a little video answering them and so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>